Hey guys, this is ArmageddonX430. I wanted to show something kind of different with you. Uh, this is more of a tutorial than it is in Let's Play, so we'll get into this. Uh, this is Camtasia Studio here. Uh, it says it. Here's my cursor right above there. It says that. Let's see if I can. Yeah, I can pull this out. So here I am. I'm actually doing the recording with Camtasia while I'm fuddling with it. Um, one thing to do is this little slider bar is I, I want to show you about audio. Um, Camtasia Studio is very, very good at getting really nice audio of certain things. For example, there are certain songs out there that have really good sections and then just are terrible after that, <laughs> I think, or whatever. And I wanted to fix them. So if I bought the song, I can have on my... I, I, I don't know if it's true, but I believe it's true that if I own the song, that I should be able to edit the song and have the edited version on my mp3 player and listen to the edited version. That's my theory. I think that's totally legal. So, that's what I plan to do and um, I'm going to uh, show you. So yeah, this slider bar right here, if you put it too high uh, you can get over the top. If you want to make an error, make an error for it to be too low, but you do kind of want to see some green going up when you're doing it so you know you're doing it right. All right, so let's get into this. First of all, there's the noise removal. Why people don't like praise noise removal is beyond me. Uh, volume leveling is kind of stupid, and voice optimization, well, optimization is kind of stupid. Don't worry about those. You'll fix them yourself. So we click on Enable uh, Noise Removal. Uh, this is the name of the song right here. I'm only going to try to show little parts of it just to kind of demonstrate stuff because obviously with this song it made silence my video or whatever. But as you can see it picked of course part of the song that there's actually a song so what you want to do is you just want to select like before the first second and then say use manual noise selection. Now, oh well, actually let's get rid of it for a second. Okay so let's play just a little clip and you'll be able to hear the static in the background. You hear this, the kind of the, you hear the warm, 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 but you also hear the static. And we don't want static. So when we put in about a second, you don't, the algorithm, uh, I keep forgetting, you can't. The algorithm is, um, so scroll back to the beginning. It's pretty powerful, so you only need just a short period of time to do a really good job. Now let's play part of this again. Let's see if we hear that static no static. It's just gone. Beautiful. It doesn't add any echo. It's really nice. Um, so that's that. If you have to tweak it out quite a bit more, like the sensitivity, it does start to add echo, but <laughs> you don't generally don't need too much. Okay, so the thing I don't like about this song, let's see, I think right here is a good example. Let's play just a little bit. No, no, that's fine, that's fine. That's uh, Pitbull right there. Let's try right here. Yeah, right here. This section, this is Kesha. I mean, it's not. It is Jennifer Lopez singing, but it sounds like Kesha. And Kesha, I can't help but say it, I, I like, uh, you, you could name almost any artist off, and I would like them more than Kesha, including Justin Bieber, even though most of Justin Bieber's stuff is annoying. Although, no, there's one song from Kesha that's not terrible. I feel bad saying that, but there's one that's not terrible. Um, but I think J-Lo was trying to take, um, take the, I mean, sees that Kesha has his giant audience is trying to change her music to sound like it. I'm like, no, that's a terrible idea. This is, this is awful. And then it switches into what I think is a lot better. Okay, so it's a little further ahead. Do, 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 do. Come on, where is it, where is it? Probably right. That is the Jennifer Lopez I know. That is the Jennifer Lopez that I love. Well, I don't know if I can say love, but yeah, it's much better. That's the J-Lo we like. All right, so now we have to figure out how we're going to cut this up. Let me pause the recording for a bit. I'm going to have to kind of learn it myself. I just want to start recording it, and then I'll, I'll show you guys what I discovered, because you kind of have to figure it out for each one, but I kind of want to show you a good method. Be right back. Okay, so I have discovered that 
Uh, pit bull sections are just fine. I don't mind it. Pit bull one one bit. Um, and so this is the end of his section. So that starts right in on the whole Kesha thing. So it's one minute and ten. And then we've dis I've also discovered that uh, it starts the decent music at 1:47. So I am going now. What you need to do is you need to find a beat. So I'm going to discover a very good pair of beats. So I'll pause it again. Okay, I've discovered a good beat at the end of the list. It's at, I actually recorded it here on the notepad, uh, 142.20, and boom, there's a beat, bonk, right there. Okay, pausing. All right, and at the very beginning, the very first beat when she starts getting all Kesha-like is right here at 109.26. Right there, boom, right there. So, we are going to cut it from here right up to that other beat, and let's see how it sounds between the two. Be right back. Actually, I'll show you this part. So we would do a cut right here, and then we go forward to the... Now, it's not going to be quite as simple as, uh, as this. I'm going to have to do a little bit of tweaking at the little sever point right here. So do a cut right there. Oops, not cut. I meant split. Get rid of that entire section, and that entire section. Oh, God. Sometimes that's annoying. Roll it over. Okay. So let's see. How does that sound to begin with? It probably is going to be a little messed up. But let's see. It's gonna. It's gonna sound fairly all right. Oh my God! The beats are perfect. <laughs> that was beautiful. I don't know if I'm going to have to tweak that at all. That was amazing. I just cut out. Um, about, I don't know, not that much time, uh, 33 seconds of terrible, no, 33 seconds on the length of a song is quite a bit. Uh, let's see, is there any adjusting I'm going to need to do, or is that perfect? Oh, it's perfect. I can't hear that at all. All right, so let me pause it. If I find another section I want to remove, I'll do that. Otherwise, mm, be right back. I mean, y y yeah, I'll, I'll be right back either way. Aha, uh -huh, I did find another section, and this one's a bit more difficult, because if you play right here, uh, wait, did I get it? No, I think it's right here. Um, she's actually singing during the first beat, which is a little bit more difficult to do. And with that one, there's two different ways. Either you can find a part where she takes a breath and splice it there, or you can um, do a uh, sound dip right there. Uh, I'm going to try to see if I can, uh, well, uh, let me see if I can demonstrate it. No, no, that's the wrong spot. Right here, I think. Yeah, that's the very first beat. Before that, there's no beats. Oh, no, there's still beats, but there, it, it's part of the part that's okay. So, um, so right here, she's saying I. Oh, I know. Well, I know. It's whatever. Um, so, uh, let's try... I, I want to try to do the uh, a dip. A dip will work fairly well in this situation. Um, and it will... Um, mean that we'll have to experience much less of the uh, terribleness. That's... This one's also the beats right in between them. Uh, that's close enough. I think it'll be hard to tell, because we're, we're dealing with thirtieths of a second, and literally if I could cut it down to a sixtieth of a second, then we would have it perfect, because it's halfway between one and the next, but uh, that's fine. So, um, 47... 21. Okay, so let's do a cut right there. And then all the way up to 220, which is where I found the other one. 220.00. Cut. Let's double check. Yeah, so that's the last beat. You could count the eights, um, <laughs> which is a little bit beyond what I want to do. Uh, if you really wanted to make something nice, you could count the eights and start going up or uh, uh, longer, but uh, I'm not going to do that. Not for this thing. So let's put this back. Oop, me, you know, yeah. What am I doing? Stop that. <laughs> Control Z is a very, very useful thing. So this is going to sound a little weird. Whoops. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. But uh, let's see. Yeah, see? See? That is... Uh, it feels weird. It feels like there's something strange there. So what you do here... Um, we uh, will do a, a a dip, a sound dip. 
So it's right, whoops, let's make sure that, let's zoom way in. Okay, so it, it yeah, it's 147, tw okay, so let's go one second. Uh, let's go, no, 20 uh, 30th of a second. So let's go right here, let's split right here, and in the forward, so that'll be uh, 11. It still seems like a lot, but, um, okay, split. And now we take. Let's see if I. Uh, let's see if I remember. It. Okay, this is the not the right one. Let's see if I can do this though. So take this guy and bring it down. You want to bring it down to? Mm, let's try 26.8. I'll just remember that because I want to. I'm in like that. I want to make it the same. Okay. Let's see if that worked. That might be too big of a dip. Yeah. That's that's noticeable because it's too big. Twenty t uh, thirtieths of a second is too much. All right, let's try half that. Split, split, and bring this. Yeah, let's go hog wild. Let's do six tenths. Split or six thirtieths. Bet you didn't know it had a lisp. <laughs> no. Okay. No, 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 no. Gotta get the right one. You don't want, you want the little, uh, all direction thing. So let's do the 28.6 uh, again. 